Hello, good people. It's your boy Onyx Blade back with some more chatting with Onyx Blade. So I haven't done one of these in a minute. And the reason I'm doing this, because I'm kind of bored, but mainly I want to talk to you guys. I want to fix my mic a little bit. Do, 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 do. Plus, I got some time to kill before I go to work. So anyways, before I get started, these are the things I'm going to tackle. I'm going to talk a bit about myself, how I feel about Tekken and fighting games in general. Touch slightly on Forbidden, my current two characters, Garrison Paladin and Subami Tanaka. Then I want to discuss stuff that I've been seeing on Twitter and general other things. So do your best to follow me. You know how chaotic I get. But first and foremost, a big shout out to Nephi. Thank you again, Nephi, for becoming a member, not only for one month, but two months. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Nephi, I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. And of course, I'm going to say this to you personally, although this is a public video. Wherever you don't feel like being a member no more, don't feel stressed. Don't feel like you're obligated. But it does help me a lot. And thank you, Nephi. I truly appreciate it. Speaking of memberships, what I'm going to start doing soon is maybe, I, maybe I'll start in October, but definitely November. Up to the, like, the first three people who request it, but you must be a member, I will do matches with you. And this is the reason why, I, oh, this fucking fly flying my fucking face, man. Fuck out of here. Um... Reason why, number one, I'm very busy in my personal life, and I always don't feel like gaming with friends. But I feel like you know I need to do something for membership. By the way, I was trying to like update the um special privileges for members, but every time I go to like try to update it, it keeps telling me to add another um a level. But I'm not trying to add a level because the only level I want is the five dollar level, which is broken to the Onyx verse. But basically, what I want to do for membership, I want to either make like the, the things I want to offer to members. Besides, like, you know, membership-only videos. Like, only videos that members can watch. I want to be offered matches, but up to the first three people who request them. But you must be a member. You could also give me, like, a topic you want me to discuss. Members are allowed to request. You know, if you give me a topic to discuss, it will be public. But members can say, hey, Onyx, I want to get your thoughts on girl groups and K-pop. Or I want to get your thoughts on... The train station, you know, whatever, as long as I feel like I can tackle it, and I will tell you, send me more than one request, just in case, like, say, you maybe send me something like, you know what, I don't have enough expertise on that, even if I were to look it up. If I have an experience, I have not personally, you know, been involved in any kind of way, or, you know, have, like, a good amount of knowledge on it, I don't want to give my opinion on something. I'm just like, uh, okay, let's say someone told me, honest, what's your thought on the Beatles? Do I know the Beatles exist? Of course. But can I legitimately give you a good personal opinion on the Beatles? Since it's not music I listened to, nor the time they were, like, you know, done. I wasn't even, like, born yet. So those type of things I can't cover. But you ask me, like, oh, Honest, what's your thoughts on Destiny's Child before, you know, they disbanded? You know, technically speaking, they are still together, just haven't made music together in eons. Or what's your thought on... Nicki Minaj's husband, or what's your thoughts on Street Fighter Six? Those type of things I can answer since I have been, I'm aware of those things, and I've been involved with those things, not like directly, but internet-wise, media-wise, I can speak on those things that I have enough knowledge and I have enough information to form a personal opinion on them. But you ask me something about, like, um, what you think about wrestling? And I'm not, I'm not talking about current wrestling, you're talking about, like, Old, old wrestling, I'm going to be like, I can't give you no answer on that. At least not an honest one, or not one that feels like, you know, is true to my person. But anyway, let's get started. Let's do the things I'm going to get for um, members. You first, first three people who are members, not like the first three people who are members, like the first three people who send me the request to get matches for me, where I set up a time that works. Um, you're allowed to request special videos that you want me to discuss on, like, world topics, or even just entertainment stuff. And, you know, I will make more videos in the future that will have shout-outs to people who are members. Lately, I have not been expired to do, like, a lot of editing. And the editing I do is, like, bare bones. Because, number one, YouTube? YouTube pissed me off recently. Because I made a thumbnail for this video I did of... I forgot the video was. I think Extermination of Losers. The original video was Lily. Mind you, Lily was, like, downwards. And, yes, the video... The picture I used of Lily was a Nazi for work picture of Lily, but I censored it where you're going to see none of her goodies. And it was just Ingrid talking like, stupid ass bitch, some shit like that. Mind you, there's a thumbnail of this piano lady who literally had one of her thumbnails being uh, like, a, like a little 
those little spoons you use to pick up soup from like a pot, covering her with JJ. That was the thumbnail. Mind you, that's more explicit than any thumbnails I ever made. And YouTube's like, cool. But my little thumbnail, YouTube gives me a warning. You're violating nudity. You're violating the nudity stuff. You're violating the nudity stuff. I'm like, you two, are you on fucking crack? First of all, it's censored. Second, you have let worse get away with your platform. And this is the shit I be talking about. This goes back to my complaint in my last band video by Instagram. Instagram had an issue with me showing my bare ass in one of my um photos. But meanwhile, there's a bunch of dudes and even ladies who show their bare butts. Nothing happens to them. It's the hip. One of my biggest pet peeves is hypocrisy. I would want to push your head to a block of cement when it comes to hypocrisy. Don't treat me different than the next person. I mean, honestly, you know, I'm talking about in, like, in general, so not like personally. Obviously, people like other people better. You know, some people have preferences of certain type of people. I'm not going to be everybody's preferences. But let's say you make a rule, and the rule is no one can eat chocolate candy bars at the 5 o'clock, 5 o'clock p.m. And Susie eats a chocolate bar at 6.30. And I go eat a chocolate bar at 7. And mind you, both people are aware that Susie had a chocolate bar at 6.30. I had a chocolate bar at 7. But who gets punished for eating a chocolate bar at the 5 p.m.? I do. They don't do nothing to Susie. That shit makes me enraged. That shit will make me want to K-word somebody. Because I hate that crap. But now I want to speak by myself a little bit. Playing games with Damien. I say, Damien's place out. Love Damien to death. I hope he doesn't take this personal. I can't speak for Damien, though. But one thing about me. We don't like playing from friends. Mainly. Because, number one, when I'm playing Strangers Online... I don't have to control my attitude. I don't have to, if I'm like, want to call that person a faggot or you a bitch motherfucker, stop running around. I can do that freely because I have no connection to that stranger. That stranger, no tea, no shade. I don't wish them evil. I know I may talk my mess. I may even wish them the, the D word when they playing like a Willy Ray I can't stand. And I'm talking about D word that means unalive. But that's the, the competitive, the angry, the bratty nature of me speaking out, which that side of me comes out when I'm playing video games. Like, I don't think I'm a saint, but I also don't think I'm a bad person. You know, I hate when people call me a good person. Because I'm like, I'm just a normal guy, in my opinion. I behave the way I think people should behave. I don't think I'm a saint. I don't think uh, just because I hold a door for an old lady, just because I see someone drop something, I'll pick it up. That does not make me special. That makes me being human. And when people give me like this, oh, Ines, you're such a sweet person. You're such a kind soul. It makes me feel queasy inside because I don't think that about myself. I think I'm just being a decent human being that my mom raised me to be. And I live by the philosophy, treat people the way you want to be treated. So why would I be a dickhead to somebody who didn't do nothing to me? But yet, if someone's a dickhead to me, I want to be upset. That make no damn sense. But one of my things about me with gaming, I get very competitive and I get irritated. So if I feel like if someone's not playing the way I want them to play, which I know it's hypocrisy. I know, I know. Doesn't change the fact it irks my spirit. When someone does something like, like you want to weigh too much, you just want to punish you, wait to see what I'm trying to do. That's like the biggest pet peeve. I can't stand a player who's not active. If you just wait and see what I'm going to do before you try to punish it, I really wish I could teleport you in front of me on some Scarlet Witch shit and just snap your neck. I really do. Because I'm like, you freaking coward. If you don't press some buttons and do something, I will unalive you. That's how I be feeling. And that's like one of my negative traits. Because I feel like when I'm playing a game, I want things to go my way, or I'm not having fun. And my thing is, once I'm not having fun, I'm not going to rage quit. But I was just like, you know what? I'm not having fun. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. I'm done. And that's how I am, because that's how I can stay in control of my emotions, because the alternative is me is becoming a raging demon. And I don't want that, especially with friends. I care about That's how I tend to avoid playing friends. And, you know, because like I said, because you play in a way I can't stand. That irks me. Like I said, I don't expect to win all right. But if I feel like this, even if you win more matches than me, I'm cool with it. But if I'm, like, losing badly in the beginning or I'm struggling to beat you, I just don't want to keep playing you because it just makes it like, you know what? You're really working my last nerves before I become really, really mad about my face starts turning red and I'm thinking the most darkest thoughts. Let me just turn this game off. Let me go look at some hot guys on the internet. Let me do some drawing. Let me take a nap. Let me go find some food. Whatever. Or let me go place people online that I have a chance to get matched with someone who's a more my type of opponent to fight. 
But that's one thing. The other thing I want to say that about myself that is negative. But at this point, I'm I, I'm I'm settled in my ways, and this is, will not change. This is part of why my ass is still single. Not only am I like a homebody, and I like being home as much as possible. I really don't like going out. I will. And I think it's. I actually look down at people who like to go out too much. I realize about myself. You always gotta be busy. Always gotta be out the house. Like, I'm not telling you to change your ways. Obviously, I'm not going to change mine. But I do look down on you. Like, I feel like you don't know how to be happy with yourself. Like, you always got to be seen. And my opinion of you is very shoddy. Like, I, I don't know why, but I actually do judge people who always go out. And you cannot stay home. At least, at least, it's just seven days a week. You can't stay home. And I'm not talking about work, doctor's appointments, take your kids to school. Obligations? No shit, Sherlock. Take your butts. Do take care of what you got to take care of. You're an adult. You're a parent. But I'm talking about going out just because. Now, obviously, this is not to hear change people's minds. You like to be a busybody. You're an extrovert. Cool for you. But I love being inside indoors for the most part. I do. And another thing I can't, I, I negative trait by me. If I'm not feeling something, as I get older, I have a hard time hiding it. Like, before, I used to be like, you know, I'm just gonna push through. Now, I don't, I'm not talking about birthdays. I'm not talking about you know supporting your friends. I mean, like, let's say if you know you're out somewhere and people like to stay out for five, six hours, by hour two, I'm ready to go home. And at this point, I'm like, you know what? I'm an adult. I ain't gotta wait for you. So if I'm ready to go home and like you want to still be here, good luck to you. I'm going home. I'm tired. And that's that. That's one of my negative traits. And I don't care how you feel type of way. You stop being my friend because of that. Yippee. But I am very much a homebody. And I think one thing, if I ever were to get a boyfriend, I wouldn't mind my boyfriend having fun long as he wasn't cheating on me because I'm cheating is a no-go for me. But if he's like, honest, I want to go out, I want to go out. Yes, and I'm in a relationship. Of course, I'm going to want to go hang out with my boyfriend. But I'm not going to want to go out every day. Like, there's same times where he could go out with his friends and as long as you're like, you know, you're not doing nothing behind my back, knock yourself out. But I'm a homebody. I am. And also, I'm not that I like to talk a lot. Don't let the YouTube stuff fuel you. I'm not much of a talker. So when I do like to talk, either I have to be in a mover, not mentally tired or physically tired. And when I talk, the max I like to hold a conversation for is like 10, maybe 15 minutes. After that, I start tuning out because I'm like, okay, I, 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 you know, I love you, but I don't care no more. This conversation has expired. The interest is now no longer here. Now, if I'm like, you know, I have like a podcast, let's say my Chris Lotus, when I've decided to do his podcast, that, I understand you're going to have to do a lot more talking. Or me and Damon discussing, like, you know, personal life stuff that needs more than 10, 15 minutes to get talked over. That's fine. But for me, most times, a good 10, 15 minutes is all I need. After that, we're good for the day. We're good. Anything more than that and it's not vital, do me a favor, shut the fuck up or go talk to someone else. That's like some of the next traits I wanted to talk about myself because I'm not perfect by no means. So I'm like, you know, I want to do a video a little bit that sp speaks about me as a person. But overall, I don't think I'm a bad person per se. Like, I don't think I'm evil. Like, I, honestly, I'm not. I don't think I'm evil that much. You know, sometimes times I have that feeling, especially when my depression is kicking through. I do feel like I'm a, like a terrible human being that I don't want to be here no more. But I don't think I'm an evil person. But I just not this. I'm not a chit chatter. I really, I don't. I'm not a a person who loves to. Like, doing this, YouTube, it's easy because YouTube, I can express myself and you guys can choose to listen. Whereas in real life, like, if, like, you guys are talking to me, I'm like, and like I said, that's to me, I don't like people talk to me at all. I'm not like, you know, I don't think I'm God's gift to earth. But it's just like, don't talk to me for a long time, especially when it's not necessary. I just like necessary noise. If that's the best way I could say it. Next thing, now let's get to Tekken. No, I think I did touch on Tekken. Tekken, now yes, as you guys seen earlier, which will be in the card somewhere in the round of 14 minute mark, I played this Hurring player. And I want to say quickly say, for those who've been wondering why I don't play enough Eddie and Victor, because not only are they not as fun for me to play as I do with Nina, I have so much fun with Nina. Nina, chef's kids, I pray her nerfs are not crazy in season two. Just maybe it's like slightly toning out her damage, but that's it. But Nina's not even nerfed to the ground. Please don't nerf her to the ground. Please. Just give her, make her like, you know, maybe some moves do too much damage and fix tracking issues on certain moves and make fixed frames on certain moves. Because Nina does have a frame issue, not nearly as bad as Tekken 7. 
Oh, I'm so glad it's not nearly as bad as Tekken 7. But she does have some of those little issues still, but it's not nearly as bad as Tekken 7. Not even close. But that's it. But we said Eddie and Victor, because when I play Eddie and Victor, that's why I don't have a lot of matches, because it's so hard for me to get wins with Eddie and Victor, because either someone plays in a way they lock up so much, but I can't get much done. See, with Nina, for the my way I play Nina, Nina is like, open the fuck up. Open the fuck up. You aren't going to be like blocking shit with me all day. Whereas Eddie and Victor, where Eddie, as long as you know how to crouch, block, crouch low, block, crouch, whatever I'm trying to say it. Speech is kind of kicking my butt right now. Crouch, like, crouching block. Or you just know your frames well, know when to duck. Eddie is cake. And Victor, Victor is, while Victor is strong, Victor works best with someone that doesn't understand the gameplay or very impatient. If you're a patient player, Victor's actually very easy to fight. Very easy to fight. At least my Victor. So that's why I don't play them a lot. So when I do play them, I find it really funny when people get emotional. I'm like, I'm ass with this character. Like, I, I suck with this character. It's not like, not like, I'm not, like, my Nina, and I don't even think I'm the best Nina player, but my Nina's here. My Eddie and Victor are, like, right here. They're that bad. So when I hurry and play Wage Quit on me, I'm like, baby, you're fighting my worst character. And you don't know you could have made a comeback or not. Because there's another video I'm playing to upload later this week, or um, early next week. It's me fighting this Kazuya player who also Wage Quit. But let me tell you, the match started a lot differently. That Kazooie play was racking me, beating my ass. But what I did, instead of me getting flustered, getting tilted, which I can do sometimes, I realized, okay, this is what I'm doing wrong. This one, like this Kazooie play, get away with. I need to change that. So I made the adjustments mid match, which is not always easy for me to do. I made adjustments. Not only I made a comeback, the next game, I got that Kazooie play so mad, they grace quit it. And at this point, I spoke a lot about wage quitting a lot. My whole thing about wage quitting, it doesn't change the fact that you took an L, and plus, there's going to be someone's highlight wheel on their social media platform, regardless if it's TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. Wage quitting doesn't change the fact that you just, got, you just show that you're so salty that you can't take a on taking an L. Like, lose and don't play that person again. What's the point of wage quitting? But that's that. Now, quickly on this, Garrison Paladin and Subami. I just posted them on my... um community earlier, but I will also work on their profiles. Garrison came out exactly the way I want him to come out. He was an AI adoptable, and I'm probably going to post the original AI picture of him. I know Nephew probably saw it, but I know you guys didn't, because I like to hide my AI pictures, because not only people like to be really weird about AI, because I feel like AI has this good and bad. And my thing is, depending how you're using the AI, it's not the end of the world. And I think it went, another thing, Real art's always going to be superior to AI art. AI art is artificial, it's soulless. But if you're using AI art for trivial things, like making hot guys, or, you know, this, like something that's not harmful, I don't like the backlash people get for this playing with AI. Now, when you're trying to, like, when some of those delusional AI artists think they're better than actual artists who actually draw, have real skills, you're delusional, baby. You need to go eat a bag of shit. But... If you're just a person who plays with AI, you know, like, this is fun, but I know I'm not the real McCoy. This is just something I do for fun. Or you make a little AI character that's based on something, and you sell it for a very cheap price on De DeviantArt. That, to me, is fine. I have no issue with that. I like when AI artists take this up too seriously. They start watermarking and stuff like, baby, it's AI art. It's AI art. You're taking this up way too serious. This is not, you didn't draw this yourself. You put some words in. And some computer program did this for you. Stable diffusion, whatever you want to use. You are not an artist, though, honey. You're not. And I need you to cut to cut the crap. But, you know, whatever. And I work with a lot of people with AI. Because you know what? Sometimes a lot of my forbidden cats came from me purchasing AI. Such as Meredith, Garrison, Liliana, Celia. Um, who else was? Um, Bass. I have quite a few characters on my blog who created it. Drawn by an actual artist, but they were based on for AI art that I purchased. But anyways, Garrison, I can't wait to get to his story done. I don't know when, because I'll say I have a lot of characters that I still need stories I need to work on. But I want to say this one. Garrison is the Savior Blue Knight. He is Ecuadorian Scottish. His father's Ecuadorian. His mom is Scottish. And he's the leader of a group called the Iron the Iron Knights. I believe that's what the Iron Force. I knew I was, the Iron Force. Meredith is also a member of that guild as well. Now, I'll explore more Garrison's character in the future. Now, onto Subami. Subami's design is intentional because it's supposed to be scantily clad because 
is inspired by the Queen's Blade feel. However, I want to see this much. Tsubami herself is a very modest Japanese woman. It's the spirit of the vengeful Kunoichi Wika who possesses Tsubami. And that's when Tsubami's great Tsubami appears is based on how Wika dressed when she was alive, before she was betrayed by her lover, and she came back as a vengeful spirit. But that's why Tsubami looks the way she looks. But it's intentional. But Tsubami herself, Tsubami Tanaka, is a very modest woman. But you'll learn more about my characters in the future when I get to around and work on their profiles. And have them edited either by my mom or my good friend, Aliza. Next, I want to talk about social media. Now, I'm going to tackle this one slowly, because I, I don't want this to be misconstrued. People know I'm a fan of Nicki Minaj, but for a long time, ever since she married her husband, Ken Petty, who is accused, you know, a lot of evidence points that he did it, but some people say that's a lie. I'm not here to get into all that. Accused of S.A. a woman named Jennifer Horse. Ever since Nicki decided to marry Kenneth, the barbs, the beat, I, it used to be fun. I'm not, I'm, barb, I'm a Nicki fan, but at one point, I would have been okay if someone called me a barb. The bar, it's been very chaotic. It's been very hard being a Nicki Minaj fan ever since she married that man. Because that man brought a lot of headache. And while like I said, I don't know, maybe he, maybe Jennifer Hoff is lying. But based on what the evidence has been put out, that video that came out recently, and that video debunked a lot of things that Nicki Minaj said earlier during her Queen Radio days when she was defending her husband. Honestly, I don't know why Nicki married a guy who had that accusation against him. I really, if she was trying to have a one night stand, she want to make that little her boy toy fine. But to marry him and have a child with him, I think was a very bad move for her career. Because outside of few BS, what can one really say about Nicki Minaj until she married that man? And her marrying Kenneth really put the fandom in a bad place. It's like, it's not fun, fun interacting with Barbies no more. I used to love interacting with Barbies. Were there some crazy ones? Absolutely. But for the most part, I love interacting with those barbs. But lately, they've been weird. And one thing I want to say, I am sick and tired of them wishing bad things happen to Papa Bear, Nicki Minaj, and Kenny Petty's child. If you wish evil on a child just to prove a point, go fuck yourself. And I don't care you to limit my ad revenue for this video part. You're sick. You not wish evil on no kid. You're sick in the head. You need to get help. You're sick in the fucking head wishing bad on a kid. I want nothing but blessings onto that little boy. On any child for that matter. Children are angels. Children are innocent. Regardless of what kind of people they come when they come teenagers or adults is another story. But children are innocent. And when you wish evil on a child, I hate you. I hate you. And I don't want Kenneth or anyone to do anything bad to that child. Do I think the relationship itself is bad for Nikki's career? Yeah, but at the end of the day, Nikki's a grown man and Nikki made her bed. She has to lie in it. So whatever happens, happens. I still love her music. I still want Nikki to do the best. But her marrying that man was a really bad call. And I wish someone had talked her down. Her mom, somebody had talked to her like, Nikki, honestly, you might like him, but no. 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 But anyway, that's all I really want to chat about. I want to talk about those things. I just feel like chatting with you guys a little bit. Because I do want to put content here besides, you know, Tekken matches, carry up stuff. And also, I will be doing a, either a stream Saturday night, not out of 10. Don't hold your horses because I'm going to hang out with my friends Saturday after work. But I do plan to do a, like a, maybe like an hour of carry up 14 stream. Might even break down a re-download King of Ice 15. Who knows? But anyway, that's all for now. Got to get ready to head to work. Love you guys. Peace. Take care. Honest play out. Ciao. And don't hit, forget to hit the like button and enjoy the video, dummies.